My biggest passion has always been to inspire other people. I don't know, it's like a mission to me. I grew up with a learning disability. I had so many problems back in the day that I failed grade three and grade four, but I always wanted to be in radio. And I went through job, a menial job after job, shining shoes, working in warehouses, working as a doorman, the boxing and hiring myself out as a sparring partner to all kinds of people like Muhammad Ali and George Chevallo, and, and the list goes on and on. When I was a kid, they used to call me Spider. When I first started boxing, because I wasn't that skilled, but I had lightning hands. I always had good speed. So they used to say, you got more hands than a spider. My wife started to get on me. Why don't you go back to school? Seneca became my home. This is where my, my self-worth developed into something that made me begin to realize that I can get that job because Margaret Hauser gave to me and so many other great teachers here at Seneca College. She implored me, do not lose your street style of storytelling because that's gonna be what gets you through. She said, you've experienced racism, poverty, police brutality, and she inspired me. But without Seneca College, I would have never seen my dream become a reality. I never worked for the Fan 590. I would have never worked for CHWO. I would have never worked for CFRB, or I would have never worked for Talk 640. I had a chance to meet Muhammad Ali. We started to hit it off right away. We ended up working out quite a few times with him. That's how I, I got to meet him, but I learned a lot from him. I have a, a deep compassion for people, especially young people. I want every young person to be on a level playing field. That isn't happening, but I think through my youth center, we do that. Spiders Web Empowerment Center means everything to me because these young children that come through here will be my legacy. And I know a lot of young people today, they're born into underprivileged, but they still got a right to dream, they got a right to hope. And I just feel a mentor spirit towards those kids. Graduating with honors from Seneca College at 40 years old, it was the first time in my life I had started something and I had finished it. 